If you want your drawers to last, it's a good idea to make some sort of mechanical joint that locks the sides together so that to break the drawer, you would have to break the wood itself rather than relying on just the strength of the glue as you would with a butt joint. Traditionally, dovetail joints have been used for drawers because they provide a great deal of mechanical strength. But not everyone wants to take the time to set up a jig and cut dovetails, or you might not have a jig. So here's a simpler option. It's called a locking rabbit joint. And this type of drawer is nearly as strong as one that's been dovetailed. And it's simple to make. In fact, the entire drawer, including the rabbits and the dados on the four corner joints, plus the grooves required to slip in the bottom panel, can all be made with a single table saw setup. This is sometimes called a quarter, quarter, quarter drawer. But I prefer to call it a half, half, half drawer. I'll tell you why shortly. But first, let me explain the principle and how you can use it to quickly batch out piles of drawers in literally minutes. A drawer consists of a four-sided box with a bottom panel. The front is often a separate panel that's simply overlaid later, so let's concentrate on that box. Many small or medium-sized drawers, such as those found in kitchen cabinets, are made from half-inch plywood. The reason this process then is often called quarter, quarter, quarter drawers is because you use a quarter inch thick dado stack, you set it a quarter inch above the top of the saw, and a quarter inch away from the fence. Then the entire drawer, including the rabbits on the ends of the drawer front and back, the dados on the ends of the drawer sides, and the grooves for the drawer bottom are all cut with this single setup. You don't have to touch the blade or the fence for any point in the process. You just run all your pieces through and you put it together. It couldn't be simpler unless you want to use something other than half inch plywood for your drawer. So let's say you want to use three quarter inch plywood as was required when I built drawers for a built-in project a while back. A quarter inch setup wasn't gonna work for that. Or what if you're using hardwood that you milled yourself to 9 16 or to 5 8 inch thick? Well, you still can use this drawer process, but it's no longer quarter, quarter, quarter. Instead, I like to call this process half, 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 because it doesn't matter how thick your stock is, your setup just has to be based upon half the material's thickness. So if we go back to our original example of the drawer made with half inch plywood, we used a quarter inch setup because quarter inch is half of half inch. Now if your stock was three quarter inch thick, you'd use a three eighths inch setup because that's half of three quarter inch. 3 16 is half of 3 8 5 16 is half of 5 8 are you getting it? You just divide the thickness of your drawer front, back, and sides in half, and then you use that to set the thickness of your dado set, its height above the table, and its distance from the fence. One setup for all the cuts in all the parts, front, back, and bottom. It couldn't be easier. Let me show you how I use this process to make drawers from 3 quarter inch plywood. All of my drawer parts were cut to size ahead of time. Now again, I've got three quarter inch plywood, so I'm using a setup that's half that. Three eighths inch wide dado stack, set three eighths inch above the table, and a three eighths inch away from the fence. I'm going to cut the drawer sides first. I run the panel flat on the saw to cut a dado on each end of each drawer side. Then I rotate it 90 degrees, and I cut a groove along the bottom edge of each drawer side. These cuts are all exactly the same, just three passes on each drawer side, one along each end, a third along the bottom edge. Likewise, on the front and back panels, I cut a groove along the bottom edge by running it flat on the saw as before. But instead of cutting dados on the ends of the panels, I have to cut rabbits. This is done by standing the panel up on end and running that between the blade and the fence. Notice that this cut is made on the face opposite that which received the groove. Here's what it should look like. The groove on one face, the rabbits on the opposite face. In case you're confused, here are drawings of all four pieces. Again, all these cuts were made with the same table saw setup. The dados and grooves were cut with the panels flat on the saw. The rabbits were cut with the panels on edge. So we've created locking rabbit joints. The four sides of the box will come together and you'll have a groove inside for the bottom panel. Now let's talk about that bottom panel. If I was making my drawer from half inch plywood, as is common, I would have used that quarter inch dado setup 
which would have produced a nice quarter inch groove for the drawer bottom. And I could just slip in quarter inch plywood into that groove and be done with it. But I'm using three quarter inch plywood, which required a three eighths inch setup. So I now have a three eighths inch groove, but I don't have three eighths inch plywood for my drawer bottom. It's not a problem. I could just use whatever I have, be it half inch or three quarter inch plywood. I'll use the same setup, but this time I'll just run the panel on edge, creating a rabbit all the way around the perimeter. This will thin the edges of my plywood down to fit the slot, and I'll have a complete drawer box with one setup. Now let's talk about safety for just a minute. You have to remove the blade guard to do this, so be careful. Also, my drawer panels were large and relatively square, so they were easy to handle on edge. But many drawer sides are long and narrow, so you have to be careful to keep such a narrow piece standing straight upwards when you run them on their ends. And this can rarely be done safely without some assistance. One way you may keep it standing straight is by using a larger scrap of wood as a push block behind the workpiece and a paddle to keep them both against the fence. You may even choose to install a taller sacrificial fence panel as well. Or you might use featherboards ahead of the blade. Practice pushing the parts along the fence a few times with the saw off to make sure you can move them smoothly, you can keep them straight, and you can keep your hands well protected. Remember that the dado set will add some resistance to the bottom edge of the workpiece when you finally do make the cut. It's that simple to make a lot of drawers really quickly. The thickness of the dado stack, its height, and its distance from the fence is just half the thickness of your material. Half, half, half. Try it. You'll see. Rich Carbide is the best cut secret in woodworking. I kid you not, their saw blades are second to none, both in quality and performance, and they're less expensive than the other ultra-premium brands. Do yourself a favor, use the link and the discount code below this video. You will never go back to cheap blades again. Wait, don't go yet. If you're new here, please subscribe and remember to ring the bell. I would really appreciate that. Give us a thumbs up or better yet, leave us a comment. I always read them. And be sure to check out the latest issue of Stumpy Nubs Woodworking Journal. It's always packed with tips, tricks, and tutorials designed to make you a better woodworker.